Hello, is anybody there? Yes, I'm William Blake. Not that one. I was an economist and president of the Geological Society of London in 1815, and when I saw the map, I was astounded. Someone had put to paper decades of geological study into a single document that could be understood by all. Yes, but why was that important? What? Well, you've heard of the Industrial Revolution, yes? Well, of course I know about it. But uh, why don't you explain for these good people over here? Well, the Industrial Revolution really exploded in Britain in the early 19th century. Humans began inventing machinery to make their lives easier. Trains instead of horses. Newly invented machines meant factories could create more products faster and easier. New products, new science. It changed everything. Houses, factories, farm machinery, railways. They all needed coal to burn and miners needed to know where to find it. Ah, and the map showed where it was. Amongst other things, what the map showed... All right, all right, that's quite enough from you. I'll take it from here. Who are you? I'm Dr. John McCulloch. I was president of the society from 1816 to 1818, and I have important information you'll need later on. Well, how rude. Get back to your penny shuffling. I am not a penny shuffler. I'm a classical economist. Whatever. Okie dokie, here we go. What the map shows is the various strata which make up the land of England, Wales and north into Scotland. A stratum is a layer of rock or sediment, something like mud or sand. When we get lots of layers together we call this strata. Strata build up over millions of years. Each layer contains its own unique set of fossils that do not appear in the other layers. I started collecting fossils and noting what type of layer I had found them in. I was the one that realised there was a pattern, a rule if you like, that you could apply across the whole country. He also recognised the overall order of the strata. This meant that if you could identify one stratum, you could predict where the others might be, because strata always occur in the same order. And what did we need to power our factories and trains? Coal! So my map could show you where to find it. Oh, that's rather clever, isn't it? So that's what made you rich and famous? No. I told you, it took years. And the world wasn't quite ready to listen to Smith's ideas. He had no formal education, had no money and no influence or connections. How would someone like that be able to get anyone to listen to his theory? I don't know. I just presumed he had a laboratory and a team of people to help him. I'm afraid not. Now let's pop along to the next screen and we'll find out more.